Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here and welcome to another creature comparison. It's time we dived into the order of Serenia because tonight's contestants are the Manatee versus the Dugong. So let's take a dive. As always, we start with our similarities. First up, both the Manatee and the Dugong are aquatic mammals that belong to the order Serenia. Also, they're both herbivores. In the wild, they eat aquatic plants like seaweed and kelp and sometimes invertebrates. And manatees have been documented feeding on over 60 different aquatic plants. Also, both manatees and dugongs are highly threatened by pollution, hunting for their meat, and collision with boats. And of course, being mammals, they give birth to live young and they usually have only one calf at a time. Now then, let's talk about the differences. First up is their ranges and varieties. Manatees live in the coastal waters and rivers of the southern United States, Central America, Brazil, and Western Africa. And there are three different species of manatees. The West Indian manatee, the Amazonian manatee, and the West African manatee. Dugongs, on the other flipper, live on the coastal waters of Eastern Africa, India, Indonesia, and in the waters near Northern Australia, and there's only one species of dugong. There's also a difference in the shapes of their tails. Manatees have round paddle-shaped tails. By contrast, dugongs have tails that look more like those of dolphins. Manatees are also bigger than dugongs. A fully grown manatee weighs 400 to 550 kilograms or 900 to 1200 pounds though the females are usually larger and they are 2.8 to 3.6 meters or 9 to 11.8 feet long by contrast a fully grown dugong usually weighs 230 to 500 kilograms or 507 to 1100 pounds and is 2.4 to 3 meters or 8 to 10 feet long. There's also a difference in how they grab their food. While they do use their lips like miniature trunks, manatees mostly uproot the aquatic plants and hold them in their flippers to eat. Dugongs on the other flipper usually rely on their lips to gather all their food. Well, that was it. My creature comparison on the manatee and the dugong. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's go back to the safari hat and see what our next creature comparison is going to be, shall we? All right, let's see. Here we go. Mm. Well, the next one is going to be one where I must repeat. Two birds of a feather should flock together, even if they can't fly. Alpha Lion Simba, out.